Hey there, and welcome to yet another fine Minute Microscopy. I'm Eric Rosenblatt, and uh, with Earth Day fast approaching, I figured I'd share a few of my thoughts on helping the planet. So, whether you believe climate change is an existential threat or not, or even if it's a real thing, I think we can all agree that human activity on Earth can and does have a major impact on the environment, and that we should always take measures to keep our emissions and waste in check. I know there are a lot of people who would want there to be zero reliance on fossil fuels in the near future as a way to stop the increase of CO2 on the planet. Well, perhaps someday, but right now that's not practical or even possible unless we make drastic changes to our lives and to our expectations of what it means to live. But we don't have to make drastic changes. There's really two simple and essentially free changes that can be made that would probably give us the largest positive impact we could possibly have. Well, anyone who knows me uh, knows what the first one is, nuclear power. Nuclear has the lowest environmental consequence of any power generation system. Maybe geothermal could be in there too. But simultaneously, it provides the most power output by volume. It can run day and night anywhere, unlike wind and solar, both of which aren't as environmentally friendly or viable as you might think. And nuclear doesn't have to cost taxpayer money. All that's necessary to make it happen would be enough public pressure on regulatory agencies to lift restrictions on new reactor construction. The market will do the rest. And contrary to the propaganda flying around out there, nuclear is very safe. So let's get on it. The second simple thing we can do is plant trees. You don't have to go around doing it yourself. Uh, all you need to do is buy more wood and wood products. And, and increased demand will signal the industry that they need to plant more trees. Or you could donate to a tree planting organization or something. This is the cool thing about trees. So you, you ever wonder how a tiny little seed can become this massive tree? What's it made of? Where does the material that constitute a tree come from? Well, for the most part, the atmosphere. Locked inside the wood of a tree is all the carbon it's scrubbed from the air. So each tree represents almost that much captured CO2 by weight. Pretty cool, huh? Well, anyway, those are my thoughts on the matter. Um, I, I have more, but that's enough for now. Uh, only have a minute. <laughs> we, we don't need to eliminate fossil fuel usage. Just reduce it to a level where it's minimally impactful. And you couple that with tree planting, and the balance would easily be tipped in a very short time span to a level where greenhouse gases are significantly reduced. Plus, trees, and especially nuclear power plants, are just freaking awesome. So we should have more of both. <laughs>